finished filming 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 And today I'm back with a skincare routine. Yes, you heard me. Skincare. Instead of doing my usual makeup stuff, today I'm gonna bring you skin. So if you're wondering why is my face like this, it's because I just finished filming. And uh, this look is the half space princess-ish and the gentle... I don't know, I... Maybe once I'm actually done editing the video, I might actually have an idea for a name. Till then, I'm just gonna call it the Evil Space Princess and the Innocent One, the Gemini Edition. A link to that video would be put into the description box, or you could click the little eye that's on the top right-hand corner, left-hand corner, or one place where the eye is. So click on that the video should appear or you can just go to the description box i will definitely edit down below i will edit these two videos simultaneously therefore they both should be out by the same week okay back to the skincare routine so the first things first you gotta do is you gotta get this gunk out of your face so hair tie is always a must i'm gonna keep this hair so that i can use it for tomorrow's Shoot, I'm gonna put this into a bun. That'll be easier. A whole Princess Leia looking bun. And I'm going to remove off this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. If you're wondering where I got this necklace from, you can always check my description box. I will always put wherever I get my things from. So it's a really pretty necklace. Okay, so the first things first. Your girl don't use chemicals. Therefore, coconut oil to remove the makeup. So I'm going to just use this with my hand. And this is going to turn a little ugly. So bear with me. I'm gonna peel off my lashes. I completely forgot about it. These pretty lashes are from Dusky Rose, so check them out as well. Any coconut oil will be perfectly fine. You just need to get one that is cheap. Will do it. Because this is for using, I mean, it's just gonna be breaking down the makeup. It's not necessary to get a really high and expensive one just rubbing it and washing it off immediately. So this one is from India, but I think you can get coconut oil from any pharmacy they do have it everywhere nowadays so I'm just gonna keep rubbing this into my skin so once you're done with the coconut oil you gotta wash it off so what I use is my favorite all time favorite face wash which is the Neem foaming face wash it's foamy consistency like yeah so I would usually just apply it all over my face. I've already actually washed my face, but for video purposes, I'm just gonna redo it again. I might have makeup on my face still, so I'm just gonna double wash my face today. Then I use my trusty brush, my Vanity Planet Spin Brush. There's only two functions here, which is off and on. There's no speed control. It comes in a box like this with Four brushes. So you have the body brush, the exfoliating one if I'm mistaken, the everyday exfoliating and the stone for your feet. So this brush is pretty good. I've been using it for almost three to four months and I like it. So I just go in circles. Sometimes when you wash your face you can see dirt on the brushes like the white brush would turn brown and that's when you know you still have dirt on your face so I'm gonna go and wash my face right now and I'll be right back if 
I don't have coconut oil at hand or I'm trying to just remove a mistake I've made in my makeup and stuff like that, I would turn to this. This is the holy grail of makeup removers. This bad boy here removes the stubborn stains you have. I used to use the Maybelline one, the micellar water, but that did not work shit. Like, it wouldn't remove anything. Like, I had to, like, keep dapping and... You know, placing it on my eyes and waiting for a while for it to even sip through and I still need about like four cotton balls just for my eyes. Like this one, one swipe and it's done. So, I always keep this as an emergency. If the makeup is a little too stubborn to remove, I would use this. But most days I just go with coconut oil. I'm just living up to my stereotype of being an Indian and using coconut oil because this is the holy grail. It works as a moisturizer and... You know, it does everything. It does work for your hair, it works for your face, you can drink it. Like, I do oil pulling every morning. I ha that's, I have a whole different coconut oil for that. That is extra virgin coconut oil. I would take a spoon every morning and I would gargle. Not really gargle, I would swish it in my mouth for at least 15 minutes. And I would do this before I brush my teeth. And it's called oil pulling. You guys can google it, the benefits of oil pulling. It's a very traditional thing to do and I heard it's healthy so I'm just doing it. It, it wouldn't harm me to just do it every morning so coconut oil. The next step is to... Moving on to the next thing we have scrubs. Of course I'm going to be using Body Breakfast because they are the best there is right now. So this one is their yeah, coffee scrub with honey and this one is with vanilla. I love these scrubs. This one is a bit more milder. This is a little more coarse. So if you're looking for a little more intense care, this is the one to go. This is the new one. The vanilla one is the new launch. And the honey one has been here for some time. So, god damn it, now I need coffee. So I use these, I alternate them when I feel like, you know, I want something rough, I go for this. And if I feel like I want a gentle scrub, then if I'm using this, maybe I would go twice or three times a week. But I wouldn't recommend you scrubbing your face that often. If I'm using this, it's definitely once a week. And I use this for my body because it has like harder granules comparing to this. I mean, I used to use this as well, but... This smells like caramel latte and I am a huge fan of caramel latte, so this. Okay, so when it comes to the things that are not everyday, such like face mask, I use the Indian Aesthetic Clay Mask and I also use Organics Mask as well. Yes, I am the co-founder of Organic, if you guys don't know. We have come up with our new face mask and the ingredients are all raw from India itself it's from Kerala's Ayurvedic center so everything is natural and it's pure there's no chemicals in it therefore there has a shelf life as well so once those things are launched I would definitely let y'all know but for now I have a sample pack so I'm just messing around with it and you know testing it on my own skin before I mass produce it. I'm going to show you a different clip right now of me applying it and how to apply it so we shall get on with that first. If I'm going to be doing it once a week I use this. The Health & Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. I'm going to be showing you today like how I do it so I'm going to be doing it on camera and if I want to do it alternate days or maybe three days once I would use Acid Organics Essentials face mask. Like this one right here. It it smells like sandalwood, and this has been my holy grail of face mask. If I feel like okay, my skin is a bit dull today, and I have to just like a little pick me up, this works. Like this is the sample pack. I they have not launched it as well. It's all gonna be out in January, so keep a lookout for the uh, face mask and yes, yeah, serum. So I'm gonna be doing the. Bentonite clay on my face. So I got a little bowl. When using bentonite clay, you should never, never, never ever use metal anything like no metal spoons, no metal bowls. So I got this little set from, it came with this from Daiso. It's about seven ringgit. So I have, like, I don't know if you can see, like, 
apple cider vinegar already inside it's so horrible if you can get Bragg's I don't know if you've heard of it like Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar that would be good because I wouldn't recommend using any sort of you know artificial apple cider vinegar on your face so that's the perfect one so I have just a teeny weeny bit I don't know if you can see it but I'll show it to you in a while and then using the spoons I only need a bit so I'm going to be using the 2.5 I don't know if you can see so it's a little spoon so I'm going to be scooping up just a teeny weeny bit because I'm going to be painting half my face with the apple cider one and the other half with organic essentials mask so as I mentioned I got a very pasty solution right now so I'm gonna be painting this on my face I think I made a little too much so if I did make a lot I'm gonna be painting my whole face but if I didn't I'm gonna be showing you half and half So now we're moving on to Organic Essentials Face Mask. We're going to be using this little bad boy right here. It's a mixture of powders and they are all literally imported from India's Ayurvedic farm. So they're all organic and they're cruelty free. And they smell good. So I'm going to be making the paste right now. So you will end up with something like this, as I've mentioned earlier. It's a very gunky, pasty consistency. So I'm going to be painting my other side of the face. That's cold. I think you look in the mirror. So now I have like half yellow, half green face. As you can see the bandana is drawing up quite perfectly and I'm really struggling to speak right now. That's pretty good. Both mask does have a little sting like the bentonite clay pulses on your face. If you like shut up for a while and you let it sit in, it kind of pulses. This has a bit of a sting in it due to the turmeric that's inside, so it's kind of like, you know, an antibiotic to your face, so it's kind of killing all the bacteria that's alive, so... I'm gonna leave this on for... Okay, so first time users for bentonite clay, I would suggest 10 minutes, but I've been using it for almost 2 months, so I usually keep it up to 45 minutes. As for this one, I would say 15 to 20 minutes, once it's dry, you use uh, maybe a cloth, a washcloth, or... Maybe a sponge with warm water and just gently exfoliate it off your skin. So I'm gonna go sip on some tea and watch The Office while this too dries up and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing I do with my daily routine is I always tone my face. I do not use any toner with any sort of alcohol in it. I tend to use witch hazel, which I think is perfect. Read up on the benefits. There's so much of benefits for witch hazel and it smells really yummy. This one smells like roses because it's infused with roses. So like, duh. <laughs> Okay, so you grab a few cotton pads and you, all you have to do is just drip it onto the cotton pad and rub it onto your face. All you have to do now is just keep rubbing and you will see the dirt transfer off onto the cotton pad. 
whatever remaining makeup that you might have missed out with the coconut oil, this picks it up and cleans it up. As you can see, the cotton, it has picked up my foundation, the remainings of whatever has been there. This is a really good process. I really suggest you guys add it into your skincare routine as this is amazing. Okay, the next product we're going to be talking about is from Makeup Budget Singapore. It's called Olive. This is made in New Zealand and this one is infused with rosehip oil. So rosehip is good for wrinkles, scars, you name it, discoloration. There's so many benefits. You guys should go read up on rosehip oil. I really, really love it. And it's been healing my skin very well. And it's a non-sticky oil, which is great for you to wear it when you want to head outside and not want to look all greasy and stuff like that so and the next product we're going to be talking about is also from olive you can purchase them in makeup budget singapore i've left the handle down in the video as you can see this one is an eye gel you just have to pump two pumps three pumps sometimes even one is sufficient because a lot comes out from each pump Then we're going to warm up the eye gel with my fingertips and then I'm going to just dab it onto the under eye. I think I have a bit too much product on my hand right now but it's okay. We're just going to massage it in and I'm going to use the fourth finger if I'm not mistaken and just go in circles starting from the inner corner and making a circular motion around the whole eye. This helps to massage the vessels and the veins so you don't get dark circles and this helps your eyes relax and it also avoids water retention as i mentioned earlier the rose hip oil i'm going to be dripping over uh, another tip is to always use under eye creams or gels or whatever that belongs on the under eye first before you use the outer layer because we need the eye cream to set before you use oils, lotions, whatever you do for your whole face. So maybe leave about 10 minutes between the two processes so that it actually sips into the skin and you don't move the product a little too much. This one I'm using right now is the rose hip oil. Just massage it into your skin, take some time, give your skin a good massage. As you need to give some lifting to your cheeks and the neck, never ever neglect your neck. I'm just using a cotton ball to get rid of the excess and you're done. As I mentioned, check out Makeup Budget Singapore, guys. Indyland Co. provided me with a lash serum. So it comes with this little brush. So this is the end guys, I thank you for watching and you guys have been requesting for this video for a very long time. I'm so sorry it took so long for me to get this out. I kind of lost footage from the first recording so I had to re-record the whole thing again and mash it up with the other one. So if you see two different you know, outfits and areas, you gotta guess what. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up and do subscribe to me and join the family. Join the Priscilla Marks family. I would love to be a part of you guys. And I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And you know, I want to know what you guys want to see, what you want to see next, what you may do, makeup looks, outfits. You guys let me know. I'm ready to provide it for y'all. Like at the moment, I'm actually working on a fitness video where I'm recording my weight loss. Once I've hit my desired weight, I might actually release that video as well. So that might take months. So something to look out for. So if you don't want to miss anything, click on the bell button that's in the bottom and you might get notifications. Don't worry, I won't spam y'all because I don't really post as often as some people do. But I would try to increase that as well. And also don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'm Prisla Mark and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.
Okay, so hold up. Three months later, I'm going to show you how my face looks after doing all this daily and following through the process. My skin has healed tremendously, as you can see for yourself comparing to the video. And now, this is a three months difference. I did the video in December and this is February. So you can tell for yourself it really worked for me. Go ahead and try them. Go and try out the products I've mentioned and let me know how it works for you. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.